Let's have a look at division of complex numbers in Cartesian form. And here we have an expression z equals a plus bj divided by c plus dj. Now when dividing we want to rewrite this expression in a simplified form so that there are no j terms on the denominator. In other words we want to make the denominator a real number. And if we multiply numerator and denominator by the same thing, that's just like multiplying by 1. So that gives an expression for z still. So the question is, is there anything we can multiply c plus dj by that will get rid of j? And the answer is yes. If we multiply it by its complex conjugate, that will always eliminate j. So let's see how this works in the context of this example. So here we have z equals a plus bj divided by c plus dj. So what is the complex conjugate of c plus dj? Well the real part c stays the same and the imaginary part changes sign so that this becomes c minus dj. And, as said before, we must also multiply the numerator by the same thing if we're still going to have the same number z. Now we expand out numerator and denominator in the usual way. So ac plus bcj minus adj minus bdj squared on the numerator and on the denominator c squared plus dcj minus dcj minus d squared j squared. And we simplify this at the next step by remembering that j squared is always equal to negative 1 so ac plus bcj minus adj minus bdj squared thus becomes minus bj bd times negative 1 so that will become plus bd. Looking at the denominator we have a dcj and a minus dcj so those just give 0 and again minus d squared j squared will become minus d squared times negative 1 giving plus d squared which has eliminated j from the denominator as required. And the last thing we do is group real and imaginary terms on the numerator. So in this case the real terms, that is those without j, are ac plus bd, while the imaginary part of the complex number is of the form bc minus ad. So that's all multiplied by j and still all divided by c squared plus d squared. And you also sometimes might want to write this by completely breaking up the real and imaginary parts to get AC plus BD here divided by C squared plus D squared and then plus BC minus AD times J also divided by C squared plus D squared. So that would also often be a preferred form for writing the final answer. Now let's move on to applying this to a specific example. So in this case we're wanting to write 4 plus 5j divided by 3 minus 2j in the simplest rational Cartesian form. So once again we need to start by looking at the denominator. And here the denominator is in fact 3 minus 2j so the complex conjugate of that, again the imaginary part, will change sign making the complex conjugate 3 plus 2j. Hence here we would be multiplying numerator and denominator by 3 plus 2j. So when we work this out, 4 plus 5j times 3 plus 2j, 4 3s are 12. Then here we've got plus 5j times 3 plus 15j. 4 lots of 2j is plus 8j and 5j times 2j is 10j squared. And on the denominator 3 3's are 9, then negative 2j times 3 gives minus 6j, 
So you can see same thing as before is going to happen, 3 times 2j plus 6j, and then negative 2j times 2j minus 4j squared. And so looking at the numerator, 12 plus, that's going to become 23j minus 10 when we simplify the 10j squared. And on the denominator, we're just going to be left with 9 and negative 4j squared will simplify to plus 4. And so this will then simplify down to hence give us that the number we started with z is 2 plus 23j divided by 13. Or equivalently, that could be written in the form 2 thirteenths plus 23 thirteenths times j. So that is an example of how we can simplify complex numbers.